Hundreds of flags fly over the graves of veterans at Resurrection Cemetery in Wyoming and at Eric Burry's resting spot. It's no different. But unlike the others, a crimson century maple tree is there too. Century stands guard and that's what this tree is doing now. It's standing guard and standing watch over our hero. And under the shadow of it are Eric's parents, John and Joan, as well as a flag outlined in red with a gold star in the middle. <sighs> He was a good kid. Yeah. He was a good kid. Eric's family is a Gold Star family. It's a family members that has had a loved one that served in the military and then were killed while serving in action. The Kellogg'sville High School graduate died in Iraq on June 7, 2005, at just 21 years old. He was a gunner on the supply caravan and there was an IED at night. Memorial Day is the one day dedicated to honoring the loved ones of Gold Star families. It's a day to pause and reflect on not only our son that gave his all, but on every other soldier. He found his true passion mm -hmm. because once he went in. David Worson's son, David, gave his all at 26 years old while serving as a Navy SEAL. He died on August 16, 2012, after the Taliban shot down his helicopter in Afghanistan. Losing a child well before their time and then serving their country, um, it, it's hard to put that to words. David remembers his son each day with this memorial in his backyard, but says Memorial Day is a time where others can reflect on his son's and other service members' sacrifices. Take time to say thank you to our veterans and, and say a prayer for the families. of. And with Michigan under a stay-at-home order this Memorial Day, both families hope that allows for additional understanding to what the day is about people to truly appreciate the freedoms that they have because people are willing to serve this fine country we live in.